casualness causes casualties. Welcome everybody to another episode of Windshield Wisdom. Casualness causes casualties. What are you talking about, bro? Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, one of these, not exactly one of these, but like one of those N95 uh, medical masks. I'm not here to lecture people about wearing a mask, not wearing a mask. It's an analogy or a metaphor. I'm not sure which. I'm not good at that. Here's my point. Casualness causes casualties. Uh, there's a recent COVID outbreak at one of our local hospitals here in Maine. Uh, it stemmed from a staff member. Not sure if it was uh, medical staff, like clinical, uh, housekeeping, cafeteria, I, I don't know. But a staff member was not wearing their PPE, their personal protective equipment, correctly. They got exposed to someone who was a patient who was COVID positive. Unknowingly. Then, they went on to infect 26 other staff members, many of whom are clinical. Uh, so there are a number of you know, nurses and kind of people on the front lines who are now quarantined. So you know, an already overworked staff at a healthcare facility is now um, extremely understaffed. So my point isn't to make this a mask rant or a medical rant or even talk about the coronavirus. It's to use it as an example. Casualness causes casualties. Someone didn't have their mask affixed correctly or at all, or maybe they didn't take their gloves off right and they then touched their face, got infected. I don't know. I just know that it happened. I think that kind of thing, casualness, is happening all around us in our own companies, our own businesses, our own lives. And we need to guard we need to guard against it. Because casualness causes casualties. What do I mean by that exactly? Well, if you are not actively engaging and checking in on, praising, rewarding, coaching your staff, your team, you're unknowingly creating disengagement because you're, quote, too busy. Um, you take it for granted that they're just going to be engaged. They're going to be self-motivated and self-directed because, well, you are and you're their leader uh, and your example. Well, that should be enough. It's not. You know, I hate it when I hear uh, either an athlete coach or even just a leader say hey you know what my leadership style is I lead by example man well that's good it's just not good enough you need to lead by more than just example because your example isn't always watched people need to hear from you they need you to hear them they need to be listened to it needs to be intentional because if it's casual creating disengagement, you're going to have a, next thing you know, you're going to have a retention problem. How else does casualness cause casualties? I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you. Casualness when it comes to the little details, you know, they say the devil's in the details. The little details in your business, whether it's routine maintenance on your website, whether it's routine maintenance of your actual physical office space, your property outside. If you're casual, you start, next thing you know, you start giving the wrong first impression. Things aren't as well maintained, people notice. It's called curb appeal in real estate. Things aren't real, real well maintained, people notice, and what happens? 
they start to take their business somewhere else. Or they just don't even consider you to begin with. How else does casualness cause casualties? I'm glad you asked again. How about your personal life, right? If we get casual about our appearance, we start to give off a bad vibe, a bad first impression, things start to slip. You're not on brand anymore. Especially if you're in a business where attention to detail is important. All of a sudden, you're not mindful of those little details in your own life that reflects on your business. How about our health? And I'm as guilty of this as the next person. So uh, I'm probably saying this because I need to hear it more than someone else might need to hear it coming from me. But you know, how about our health, our diet? We get a little casual and just say, oh, hey, you know what? It's only one cookie. I'm just going to have one cookie. So here's the impact of one cookie. If you had one cookie a day at lunch or, you know, as dessert with dinner, just one 200 calorie cookie. Let's say it's a chocolate chip cookie because I have an inherent distrust of oatmeal raisin cookies. They disguise themselves looking like chocolate chip cookies. But they have fruit in them and oatmeal like that's a breakfast item it's not a dessert or a snack but anyway as i digress one chocolate chip cookie like 200 calories just one not a big one just an average sized one you add that up over the course of a week a month a quarter all the way to a year just one cookie a day five days a week the equivalent of something like 17 cups of bacon grease in terms of fat and caloric intake over the course of a year. Just one cookie. We get a little casual, we have one, one leads to two, right? It's that old saying about, you know, what is it, Pringles, you can't eat just one potato chip? Anyway, casualness causes casualties in a lot of areas. Once you ring that bell, it's hard to unring it. In some cases, you can't unring it, especially when it comes to first impressions. So I want you to be mindful of what's your version of casualness and how can it cause casualty in your organization, with your team, and what can you do about it? Okay, Your idea of where you might be being lax or getting a little lax and your team's idea of how we're a little too lax might differ. How about you have this conversation with them? Ask them, hey, where do you think we're being a little too, a little too lax, a little too casual? Because, well, hey, you know, Coach Brew says casualness causes casualties. I think that's an old uh, military expression, and stands to reason. You get a little too, a little too casual uh, on. When you're standing watch or uh, you know when you're deployed and yep it can cause casualties right check with your team ask them compare notes and more importantly or most importantly I should say do something about it K minus a equals zero Knowledge, that would be a formula for knowledge minus action equals nothing. Okay? There's no point in having that conversation if you're not going to do something about it. Hold each other accountable in a positive way. Is maybe, you know, maybe it's not medical errors, but there are uh, in your business. But there are about 250,000 fatalities a year in healthcare due to medical errors. You know? Uh, someone literally amputates the wrong leg because of miscommunication. Now they started using checklists, just like fighter pilots and the Blue Angels use checklists. The medical community started using checklists to minimize error, to prevent casualness causing casualties. I'd say a good checklist 
would probably do wonders for your business, for your role inside your business as well. So what can you and your team do to prevent casualness causing casualties? If you found this video helpful, please feel free to go ahead and uh, like it, comment below, share it with that little arrow thingy, and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications. Hit the little bell. Is it there or there? Hit the little bell, I think it's there, to get alerts every time there's a new video in this series or any of my other series. You know, we're doing a lot of video content right now on the channel. Um, we've got windshield wisdom. We also have coffee with coach, which is usually a morning video that I drop. And then also we're adding a new one, Brew with Brew. That's original, isn't it? Coffee with Coach, Brew with Brew. You know, we're uh, rounding all the bases on that with Coach Brew here. Um, Brew with Brew is uh, going to be a video series at the end of the day. We crack open a cold beer, talk a little bit about that, and talk a little bit about topics like the one we just uh, addressed here. So, it's all right here on the video channel, Coach Brew Tube. Check it out, share it up, catch you in the next episode of Windshield Wisdom.